Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son. We're here bringing you the biggest and best Nintendo news on November the 11th, 2020. If you don't want to miss one of our daily Nintendo news videos, then please subscribe and give us a like. Serious Sam Collection is coming to Switch on November the 17th. The collection includes three games, Serious Sam HD, The First Encounter, Serious Sam HD, The Second Encounter, and Serious Sam 3 BFE. The Legend of the Beast and Jewel of the Nile expansion packs will be included. Nintendo have informed us about a language error with a Mario drawing song in the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. system's digital clock. It seems that English, Dutch and Japanese will display correctly, however French, Spanish, German and Italian have their languages all mixed up. Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead is launching on Switch on November the 19th. Towerfall is receiving a Standard and Collector's Edition physical version. This is thanks to Limited Run Games, and the Collector's Edition will have extra items like trading cards, pins, an overworld map, and more. Pre-orders are open at the Limited Run Games' website from November the 13th, and you'll find a link in the description below. Alpaca Ball All-Stars has had a physical version released in Asia, but now it's been announced to be coming west as well. There'll be the standard copy and a collector's edition which will include a cap, the game soundtrack on a CD and a plush alpaca. This will be launching in March 2021. Nintendo President Shuntoro Furukawa had a lot to say during the latest financial results conference call. He says that Ring Fit Adventure is off to a great start in China, and it continues to sell well, past its September the 3rd release date. He also said that in regions of Asia outside of Japan, the regional growth was up by a factor of 152% year on year, thanks in large part to the new Chinese share and opening branches in Taiwan. Due to Animal Crossing New Horizons' big success this year, Shantara Furukawa said, We hope even more people will take the opportunity to purchase the game, but those who have already purchased it can look forward to more content in the future. We will continue to implement in-game events and would like to create a situation where consumers will keep enjoying the game for a long time. In relation to those Animal Crossing players, it seems that Shantara Furukawa hinted that the recently released Pikmin 3 Deluxe has frequently been chosen as the next title after Animal Crossing New Horizons by many of those consumers, especially in Japan. When quizzed about Game Freak's cross-platform play with Pokemon Unite between Switch and smart devices, President Shantura Furukawa confirmed that there are no plans to integrate the functionality for Nintendo titles at all. Shantoro Furukawa also reiterated that the Switch is in the middle of its life cycle, while promoting initiatives that make use of Nintendo accounts and pursuing our goal of motivating consumers to play our platforms for years to come, and in part thanks to Animal Crossing New Horizons' success, put them all together and it's extremely significant to the overall Nintendo Switch life cycle. More details of Blood Bowl 3 have been shared, including the special play cards, campaign mode, customization, and post launch support. This will be launching on Switch in early 2021. The transferability between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home is now live. And remember that if you transfer a Pokemon, you can receive a Melmetal that can Gigantamax and is usable in the Pokemon Sword Shield games. Wildfire, a 2D stealth action game, is releasing on Switch on December the 3rd. And lastly today, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's next tournament is limited to characters who can suck things in, spit them out, or eat them. Items that can be eaten have a higher than normal appearance rate during your battles. This starts on November the 13th and lasts for a total of three days. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.